to see a real estate valuation assurance plan added to the ordinance. I know there's some talk of not putting it in, that it could be a nightmare and that's, that's possible, but I guess I would just like to see, um, see that. The last couple of things I've already dealt, I've already dealt with, with with Dave, so those are, those are my basic comments that, that I have. Was moving from an exact, exact footage to a 6.5 times the height. Is that the height of the blade? The total of the blades yes. up there. Would there be any chance at all that they could come in and build anything smaller that might be too close to a residence. Say if I talking of a 200 foot tower, mm -hmm. that'd be mm -hmm. 800 feet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, or six times be 1,200 and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's 1,300 feet. Yeah. Would that would that develop into something that would be too close to a residence or not? I guess my thoughts are it would be scaled down. So that's why I kind of like the the times factor instead of a instead of a height factor. Take it the other way. What if they put up a 700 foot tower? It's 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 still sort of fair both ways, I think. Because I would think there'd be less problem with a 200 foot tower than there would be a 700 foot tower. But I have no data to back that statement up. So. Well, I don't either. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, no, are good we question. Are we good question. A change to, mm -hmm. and it's about the same thing. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Yep. I think most of the problems are caused by the blades. You know, you get the sound issues, you get some shadow flicker. So, um, you know, the smaller the blades, you're, you're going to have less problems. But I, I would stay in the reason. Yeah. If I, if I might toss in a comment, uh, my, my professional background is physics. And so this is right in my uh, bailiwick in terms of the, the calculations. And, and there's really three factors that enter into it that you'd have to, I mean, just kind of initial things that you'd have to watch real closely. There are other items that, that become effects as well, but not near so important. One of them is height. One of them is where the item leaves in the path of the blade. And one of them is where along the blade it leaves. Um, in the path of the blade, for example, if you're coming up, you're going to throw something upward and away. Where if you're going down, you're going to throw it downward and away. Are you talking ice throw right now? Uh, ice throw. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Right, ice yep. throw. Yeah, ice throw. Gotcha. Uh, and, yep. so, and so the net of that is, it's an aiming thing if you want to think of it that way. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it, if it throws it up and away, it could travel further than if it threw it down and away. Yep. Second item would be where it comes off of the blade, along the blade. The further out, the higher the speed it is moving, and the further it can travel. And then the third thing is, how high is the overall system, which determines uh, um, the height from which it starts. And I did a sample calculation way back early on as we were having our um, the steering committee meeting uh, uh, meetings, or steering committee meetings, because I wanted to just get an idea of what kind of, of numbers would go into this. And I took the uh, uh, 425 foot tall um, ground to blade tip number and said some object comes, some piece of ice comes off of exactly the tip of the um, blade when the blade is in such a place as to throw upward at a 45 degree angle, which is, I understand, ideal path length in a vacuum. Now, we don't live in a vacuum and I know that, but I mean, that's your quick calculation. 
and I got 1,865 feet in that calculation and checked it a couple of different ways and that and that fits in with some information that I was also able to get out of one of the universities where they had done similar kind of calculations. Um, then you start to take into account, yes we're in air and so we've got some drag coefficients there but the other side of it is you could also have aerodynamics. You could have a situation where the thing came off and because it's a piece of ice that's the shape of the blade, very honestly, it could fly like a wing and go further. So you've got a some, like I say, you've got a lot of other aspects that fit in there that you have to think about. But the bottom line is, you have to start to provide somewhere in there for some maximum. And if you pick off, say, 1,800 feet as something that begins to look like, okay, we could fly out to this distance as a maximum, and you put in something that becomes a, um, that becomes a safety factor like engineering practices typically do. That's the place where you'd start. Now, okay, now to Commissioner Rethlake's question. So if you end up with different size towers, what, what's going to determine where it goes? And it's going to become those initial items. How tall is it? How long are the blades? Because that determines the speed it's moving at any point along the blade and then where, whether it comes off moving up or down, you know, in that kind of a path. And my, my gut level feeling is that as you, um, as you move lower, as you get lower systems, because they all in, also have shorter blades in order to keep them a certain distance from the ground, uh, you're going to you're going to control the speed at which the thing comes off, it'll be lower, and you're going to control the initial start point, it'll be lower, and angles will always correspond. Okay, the angle thing doesn't change much from one to the other, but the speed it'll come off is going to depend on the length of the, of the blade, and the height it can come off depends on the height of the overall thing, and those are going to be your main factors in how far it travels. So the notion I would have is that the shorter it gets, the less distance you can get out of it. You know, it becomes essentially kind of a catapult throw, the less distance you can get out of it. Um, but the shorter one would be closer to a residence. But your shorter one would be closer to a residence. So what it may really come down to is that you need a multiplication factor <coughs> against a minimum. Say that you have to have a minimum of so much multiply, uh, you know, so multiply four times not to be less than, or 6.5 times not to be less than uh, kind of a thing. And then what you'd functionally accomplish is to remedy the concern you justifiably have while you're taking into account if they were to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, I, I was just wondering, as he was explaining that, that sounds good to me, but are we creating getting rid of one thing, creating a monster in another. Yeah, and I hope what I said wasn't just geek talk. Thank you. It, yeah, it, you know. those things, uh, you know. Now, in your, in your things you use, doesn't the speed by which that piece of ice come off a blade, isn't that also dependent on on, on its proximity to the tip or to the base. Of the oh, ab oh, oh, absolutely, it, it, absolutely. It, it, the closer it, to the center, the slower. Further out to the tip, the faster. And, and that speed is commonly thought to be about 170 mile an hour at the tip. Well, uh, current current design, yes. That's the problem. As you scale down, they'll run faster. So it cuts yeah. come up the higher velocity. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you see know, those little rascals out there, yeah. man. They're out, they are flying. Yeah. So it just yeah. it just right now, what well, Stanley's calculation is the best for average design. But yeah. there's, there's other things coming. Roller up. skates. Try to get on this line that's going around. <laughs> that adverse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They better. <laughs> you better be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stanley. Okay. No more questions. That. Uh, Dave, do you have any comments on any of the? You have been with us. I, uh, I, 
No, I guess it, you can. Um, no, I don't. Okay. You can do whatever you want to do. It's your call. I do want to say that originally when um, when I put out my, my first information to my, my fellow commissioners, I, I, I said that I thought what we'd like to do is, is discuss it the first meeting of May, the second meeting of May, and have a public hearing perhaps on the two days from now. I, in, in, in speaking with legal and speaking with everybody else, we we probably won't have a public hearing. Now, that's not to say that we don't want to listen. We do want to listen, but I think that a public hearing probably would serve no useful purposes. There have been, there have been at least two, is that right, Dave, at the planning commission level, there have been at least two? At least two. And, and, and Commissioner Rethlake and I were in attendance at both of those. And I'm pretty sure Commissioner Trump was there too. <laughs> Only he was up front where they could see him. Um, so I, I think that I think we 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 will likely not have a public hearing. So I think one addition to what you got here um, that I thought about was also kind of brought up by um, the the Ohio blade issue that they've got. Um, they're going to bring a crane in. Mm -hmm. And even though the roads have been taken care of <clears throat> initially, what happens with these roads when they bring the crane in and have to inspect all of these yeah. blades again? Then they're going to tear the roads up again. If, if we don't, I mean, that's going to be a huge issue. Uh, it, it, and that was where my whereas thing came in. That that is not a part of the ordinance, I guess. Yeah. But but you're right. I mean, and and they're going to destroy farmers' crops now, you know, because my assumption is, and I don't know, my assumption is they're going to look at all 55 towers now that are in that group. I, I don't know how you could not do that. So so you're right. It's like every time those big cranes come in. You stand the possibility of having a road or bridge tore up. So you're absolutely right. And I don't know how we. I'm not sure where that gets protected, but it needs protected. Hey, it should be protected in the transportation plan. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is approved. I think before the whole project would ever get. Yeah, under, I think you're underway. right. And that will come right back to the commissioners. Yes. Yeah, that's anyway. correct. Mm -hmm. And maintenance. The word maintenance is in there, so it's not just. I'm sorry. Right in the beginning, I, I did put that in there. Needs to needs to incorporate repairs due to failure and maintenance, not just the building of of it. You're right. I didn't make that note. How many different items you mentioned transportation? And we have one. How many different items is there going to be a separate set of rules and regulations now? Do you have any idea? A transportation plan, a drainage plan. So the drainage board will have to sign off. Yeah on any crossing of or damage to any county bridge, tile, culverts. Um, they will also be required to have a sound study that will be reviewed by professionals. A what? <coughs> professional acoustic engineers. Sound. Yes, sound okay, study. Thank you. The uh, I call it the decommissioning plan. I mean, that's you know that's a study too, and that's uh, again approved by the commissioners ultimately to sign off on. And there will be a shadow flicker assessment, a communication study, a security and safety plan. And an economic development agreement. I think that's the the, that's the, major the, the list. Yeah, the list of the major plans and approvals, uh, studies that that will have to be okay. submitted. Okay. And approved and signed off on by um, 
ultimately the commissioners, anybody you would be hiring, uh, council, legal, um, economic development, professionals, uh, yeah, many, many, many people. Okay. I kind of have a, a, I don't know if this falls in the same category or not, Dave. This morning I was looking at, uh, I, I sit on the C, uh, fee committee with you. Yes. We've talked about other things. Um, will the fee committee establish the fee to, for the permits for yes. this? I, I, I know it's probably in there, but I don't. We'll, it's, we'll, no, it's not in there. It will be a separate because item. Because it's a fee committee that, that would do that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that will be a, a, a change to the current schedule. Yeah. Yeah. The fee schedule that, that, okay. that we have. I think maybe we had those items in there without prices right now, or did we just talk at our last fee meeting that we're gonna we may have to deal with it? I can't remember. No, we will have to. We'll have to. We'll have to be added yeah. to to the uh, okay. Okay. to the schedule. Yes. Thank you. We were talking about the, the whether we use um, an actual number of feet or a multiplier. Um, I like the, the multiplier, and, and I think we have to deal with current technology. I don't know that we can think about what's coming up. I don't, we can't really control that. I don't have a crystal ball. So, you know, I, I, I agree with the four times and the six and a half times would, would make me feel comfortable on that. I, um, again, it's going to come back to the commissioners if something would be uh, approved or, or um, a project wanting to be approved it would come back to the commissioners and we can look at it but at this point I think the four times and the six and a half times the tower uh, is a is a good number okay. well this one recommends not less than so much feet and six and a half point six times and that was that was a good point. That was a good point. I thought when you're talking about the 200 foot, or maybe you know, maybe there has to be a times factor, but not less than. I that's a good point. I don't. I know I didn't think about it. So this was not less than 2,650, which is about half a mile. I thought It's a half mile. So we, we will then look at what Mark has presented to us and, and continue our discussion at the June 4th meeting. Okay. I think we should be able to bring things together at that point as, as long as we shut everything else off. Um, I, my, myself, I've been comfortable. I felt comfortable with what we came up with plan commission, but I do see some areas that could be... You did a great job. I, I, I wanted to make sure I prefaced that. I, I, I appreciate the hard work the plan commission has done, and I'm mighty happy I don't sit on it. So, um, you have. Uh, these are these are only done on Amber's ideas, and, and I'm big enough to say if you guys don't like them, that's fine. We'll know about them. No, I think there are some, some yeah. good ideas there, but uh, yeah. I guess I don't know if I can expand on it. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to, I'm a little concerned with, and, and we have the press here with us now, which could be of some value to us, but I, I'm a little concerned about saying that's it. Mark's, Mark's thing is the last thing we're going to accept. The, the public doesn't know that. Do, 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 do we need to give the... We need to ask the press to say that we, we're not going to accept any written written comments after the 28th day of May, or, or just leave or leave it the way it is. I don't care, you guys. Uh, I'm like you. That was my feeling. If you guys don't want it, oh, I'm pretty much done with the comments. I'll pretty much done with the comments. The sun will come up for me tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I won't color my I'm fine. Like. If, you, if you guys are fine with it, I'm fine with it. Just mm -hmm. this is going into comments then. Uh, Sounds good. I don't. I'll go along with it. I'll go along. 